In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this guitar hanger out of a live edge slab. So I'm here at my friend's house, Jessica and Nick. Uh, they have Lakeside Woodworks and we've been building a bunch of projects together and this was one of them. He had this really interesting cherry slab sitting here and uh, we had seen a couple ideas kind of like this and wanted to try it out. It's pretty simple, so let me show you how we made it. This slab was already mostly flat, so we started at the planer and just cleaned up both faces. Next, we needed to trim the slab to final length. We started out using a cordless circular saw, but for whatever reason, it was having trouble, so we switched to the track saw. Next up was removing some of the loose bark. We wanted to keep some of it on, so we just used a five-way painter's tool to scrape away any of the loose bark off of the slab. Then, it was time for some sanding. We worked our way up through the grits and got to a nice feel. Time to add some finish. We are just using a natural Danish oil and applying it with a foam brush. You put it on kind of liberally and then let it soak in for a few minutes before coming back and wiping off any of the excess. Usually, by morning, the finish has cured. Look at how this cherry comes to life with a little bit of finish. Even the sapwood has some really interesting tones. We decided to leave a part with some of the bark on it for visual interest. I just dabbed some natural danish on that part too. It really brought it to life. Next up was laying out where we wanted the guitar hangers to be. These guitar hangers are pretty cool. They close down when you put the guitar in them and kind of lock the guitar in place so it can't fall off. I'll link below to the ones we used. We went with kind of a stair step layout. To do this, we established one straight edge and then used a square up against that to make sure they were all vertical relative to each other. I used a mini Duresta ice pick to mark the holes and man, am I hooked on that thing. I've gotta get my hands on one. This one belonged to Chris, another one of the partners at Lakeside and I really enjoyed using it for different marking things. Then we attach the hangers with a couple of screws. We repeated this process for the other two hangers. Once we decided where to put all of the hangers, it was a really easy process. To hang the slab on the wall, we were going with some long headlock screws right into the studs. As you can see here, we missed the studs the first time. 
Even with using stud finders and such, we missed. That seems to be the case pretty often if you've ever hung very many things. We were about an inch off, so we took it back down, moved it over, and we were able to hit both of the studs. The screws are black and match the guitar hangers, so we just left them as a feature. Two of these into the studs were plenty to support the weight of this guitar hanger. And that was it. This project was done. I really like the way this thing turned out. Uh, it has plenty of room for growth. So as you can see, we didn't have enough guitars to fill it up here, but that's okay. They'll, they'll be able to get some more. Uh, big thanks to Jessica and Nick for having me over building in their shop. Uh, Lakeside Woodworks is here in Kentucky and they do a ton of custom woodwork stuff like this. A lot of it's live edge slab stuff. So this was just cool to kind of build in this vein because I don't do as much of that in my shop. So how would you have styled this? We kind of went with a stair step method, uh, stepped them down slightly just to kind of go with the flow of the slab. But I'm curious, would you have put them all in a row? Let me know below if it's bothering you and you really need to see that straightened. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.